Hello mga Matthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong mat body para tulungan kayo at i-guide kayo sa mga problema nyo sa mat. And for today's video, nandito pa rin tayo sa problems involving measures of position pero learning task number 2 na yung i-guide ko sa inyo. Ha? Pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna mga anak ko, pindutin nyo na dyan ng like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel or luma ka na pero hindi ka pa rin nakakapag-subscribe, pindutin nyo na dyan ng subscribe button at i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. O yung mga walang account pa dyan, gumawa na para makapag-subscribe na kayo. Okay na? Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for learning task number 2, we have grade 10 students are required to take the National Career Assessment Examination. It helps students to identify which strands they should take in senior high school and courses in college. So, the students in the moving up class, 10 Hera of San Jose National High School, obtained the following scores in NKI. Okay, so we have here... Uh, the class interval, okay, the less than cumulative frequency and the lower boundary. Usually, ito lang yung binibigay sa inyo, yung class interval and the frequency. Now, what we have to do first is to identify first, itong, puro first ah, uh, less than cumulative frequency and then yung lower boundary natin. So, alam nyo naman to, madaling madali lang to. So, we have here 13 and then add pataas. 13 plus 11 is how many? So, we have 24, okay, plus a 7, 24 plus 7 is how many? This is 31, 31 plus 5 is 36, 36 plus 4 is 40. So, ibig sabihin ng end din natin ay 40. Now, to get the lower boundary, magma-minus lang tayo ng 0.5 dito. So, you will have 45.5, 40.5, 30, what's this? 35.5, 30.5, and then we have 25.5. Okay, now find the third quartile and the 63rd percentile and the 7th data, 7th data, 7th decile of the set of data. Now, inter interpret each measure of position. Now, for quarter, for quartile 3, we have to first find the position of our Q3 class. Paano natin kinukuha yun? Ito yun, di ba? So, we have, ang K natin dito will be 3. 3 times N, which is 40, divided by 4. Okay? So, 3 times 40 is 120 divided by 4. 120 divided by 4 is how many? That's 30. Okay? So, hanapin, na, hanapin natin asa anjan si 30. So, obviously, ang ating Q3 class ay ito. Kasi nasa 36. Ah, no! Nasaan siya? Nandito siya kay 31. Ito ang Q3 natin. Okay, 24. Wala pa dyan si 30. Tapos, nandito na siya kay 31. Now, then, look for the class interval where that belongs. So, it belongs at 36 to 40 interval. Anong lower boundary niya? That's 35.5. Now, what is the less than cumulative frequency or yung below the less than cumulative frequency? If this is our frequency of the quarter quartile 3, yung below yung kukunin natin, which is 24. May mga nagtatanong sa akin, ma'am, paano kung nasa dulo na wala nang kasunod? Ang magiging less than cumulative frequency nyo will be 0, ha? Kasi wala nga naman na siyang kasunod. Ano yung frequency ng ating quartile 3? Ulit ha, ito yung CF niya. And then, ito yung frequency niya, which is a 7. And then, the interval will be 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's a 5. And then, we go to the formula. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay? So, ang lower boundary natin, dito ko nailagay ha, ay 35.5 plus, okay, let me see. Ayan. So, plus... Ano to? Ito ay 30. Diretso ko na ha. 30 minus yung CFB nyo, which is 24. Okay, over 
yung frequency nyo is 7 and then yung interval nyo na 5. Okay, so you will have 35.5 plus 30 minus 24 is 6 over 7 times 5. Okay, so you will have 35.5 plus, okay, 6 times 7. Ano, ah, 6 times 5, sorry. 6 times 5 or 6 divided by 7 kung gusto nyo. Pwede naman ha, 6, wait, 6 divided by 7 is this one times 5. Around off to the nearest hundreds, so that will be 4.29. 4.29. So let's add what is 35 plus a uh, 35.5 plus 4.29 plus 4.29. That's 39.20. Ah, uh, 79. Gusto niya sabi ko 39.79. Okay, eto ngayon ang ating Q3. 39.79. Okay, for P63 or percentile 63, find the position of P63 class. O, paano natin nahanapin? Etong formula natin na KN over 100. So, you will have 63 as your K and then your N will be 40 divided by 100. Okay, so 63 times 40, what's that? 63 times 40. Ano nangyari? Okay. Equals 2,520. Divided by 100. So, that will be... That is 25.2. Okay. Nasaan si 25.2? Anong class siya na bibilang? So, dahil ito ay 24, so, ibig sabihin, yung ating P63 ay nandito din. So, pareho sila. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang lower boundary niya ay 35.5 din. So, 35.5 din siya. Tapos, ang CFB niya, ano ba yung CFB natin? 24, and then yung frequency niya, 7 din. Okay? So, madali lang to. So, 24 and then 7, class interval natin ay 5. Or yung size ng class interval natin ay 5. So, let's substitute. Ang lower boundary natin ay 35.5 plus, eto na, yung gamitin natin, yung nasolve natin. So, that's 25.2 minus yung CFB mo, which is 24. And then, over 7 times 5. Okay? So, what is 25 Ah, diretso na natin ha. 25.2 minus 24. Okay, divided by 7. Okay, times 5. Ah, that will be 0. Point, sorry. 0. 0.86. Kasi ni round off ko. Okay, and then i-add siya kay 35.5. Okay, so what is that now? 35.5 plus 0 0.86. 35.5 plus 0 0.86. Ay, no. Sorry. 0 0.86 is 36.36. Okay. So, that will be 36 point. Again. 36. Okay. Ito ngayon yung P63 natin. Okay, now let's go for the last one. We have the D7. So, let's find for the position of D7. So, that will be, ang K natin ay 7, ha? So, ito pa rin yun. So, 7 times 40 over 10. So, 7 times 40 is 400, what? Ah, no, 28, 280 divided by 10. So, we have 28. Hanapin ngayon si 28. Nasaan si 28? Asan siya? Okay, nandito din siya. So, nagsama-sama sila lahat dito. So, this is D7. Okay, so 24 at 7 siya and 35.5. Okay, so we have here 35.5 and then 24 pa rin siya kasi nandun lang din naman siya and then 7. So, ang um, class size natin ay 5. Now, let's substitute. 35.5, okay, plus 
28 minus 24 divided by 7 and then ang i natin ay 5. Okay. Now, 28 minus 24 is 4. So, 4 divided by 7 is this one. Times 5 is this one. So, round off to the nearest hundreds. So, you have 2.86. 2.86 plus 35.5. Okay, so let's add 35.5 plus 2.86. So we have here 38.36. Ito ngayon ang ating D7. Okay. Baka naman, guys, i-follow nyo naman yung Facebook page natin, Love Mat TV. Sige na, puntahan nyo na ako. Ilang beses ko na sinabi to. Puntahan nyo na at mag-follow na kayo. Okay? At please lang, bago umalis sa video na ito, siguraduhin mo nang makapag-comment kung may natutunan kayo at natulungan ko kayo sa inyong mga gawain dyan, sa inyong mga mat muzus. Okay? Huwag aalis nang hindi nag-comment dahil alam nyo mahalaga yan para maapit ang video na ito at makita din naman siya ng iba. At laging tandahan, mahal kayo ni Teacher Maria. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!